Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, this video we discuss on a topic about life cycle assessment of paper cup. To be more specific, today's topic we cover the background of paper cup, life cycle assessment of paper cup, impacts of producing paper cup, and the last one is conclusion and recommendation. Let's move to our first topic. Paper cup is a disposable cup made up of paper that lined with a bit of plastic or wax to prevent the liquid from leaking out or soaking out through the paper. It is suitable for a wide range of cool and hot drinks. These paper cups are widely used in different venues such as in office, events and fast food restaurants. It was widely used around the world, and its popularity and demand has increased at a faster pace. For example, based on Fortinis 2020, over 50 billion and 10 billion paper cups are consumed annually in the USA and China. This is the evolution of paper cup. The paper cup began in 1907 when a Boston lion named Lawrence develops the head cup. And today, in 2020, millions of paper cups are sold daily and become a necessity in today's busy world. So, what is the life cycle assessment that I had been mentioned before? Life cycle assessment is a method for calculating the environmental impact of a product or service that uses the basis calculation. The basis calculation, also called as a functional unit, the analysis is done over the entire life cycle of the product or services and considered environmental performance in all stages. The five stages are raw materials, manufacture, distribution, use, and end of life. This is the summary of the life cycle assessment of a paper cup. The main raw materials needed are the woods and polyethylene. Let's move to the manufacturing stages. The manufacturing begins with the processing of wood chips to pulp. Second, the pulp is processed and turned into a paper through paper machine. Third, the fresh paper fed through a converter machine and cut into a pieces of paper bulb. Fourth, is coated with a thin layer of ADPE. Fifth, paper cup will be fed into a machine and print the logo on the non-coated side of the paper using the water-based ink. Lastly, the machine rolls the flag into a cylinder to become a paper cup. Then, the paper cup is produced. The extraction and manufacturing product had incurred some input to produce a paper cup and degrade the environment. This is the raw materials extraction and manufacture input. And, this is the raw material extraction and manufacture emission amount. However, the calculation is based on 20.7 kg of a paper cup that had been used 3 times per day over 230 working days. After the manufacturing stages, the product will be distributed either using a truck or other vehicles. Then, the paper cup located in the store. If there are any people wants to buy a coffee, the paper cup is used to pack the coffee. Then it considered as the consumer stages or use stages. Since the paper cup is a single use, the paper cup will go through recycling with beverage cotton paste, incineration, or end up with landfills. However, the recycling of the paper cup is not be implemented widely due to the inefficient monetary parts and lack of machine to separate the line of plastic and paper board. So, what is the impact of the life cycle towards the environment of the paper cup? The impacts towards environment which are climate change, ozone depletion, human toxicity, photochemical oxidant, particulate matter, ionizing radiation, terrestrial acidification, eutrophication, ecotoxicity, water, and fossil depletion. All the pests are contributing to the environmental degradation quality as good from the use space. The potential of the paper cup to be recycled is very low due to the unprofitable of the process. Also, lack of equipment to separate the polyethylene lining from the paper base. Thus, it would go to the incineration as energy recovery or end up into the landfill. 
Here is some recommendation to reduce the impact which are a strategy to decrease both energy and water. It can be done by recycling or reuse water as much as possible. Therefore, less water goes to the water treatment and less energy is needed. As we know that, pulp and paper mill requires an extremely high energy and water demand. Next is change the materials used into more sustainable production. The methods are using sugarcane to replace the extraction of the woods from the forest or change from the polyethylene lining to polylactic lining. Then, reduce the amount of exported and imported of raw materials or final product. And lastly, switch from the disposable paper cup into multiple-use products such as a ceramic cup. We have reached at the end of the videos. This is some reference used in this study and thank you for lending your eyes and ears. Before that, do type life cycle thinking and environmental management on YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. Do like, share, comment, subscribe and follow. That's all for today. Bye!